Okay, next question. The model below is shaded to represent a fraction. It's hard to see in this, but do you see how there's a difference? This one is shaded, and these are not, okay? These three are shaded, and these are not. Uh, these three are shaded, and it's not. The rest are not. This is shaded, and the rest are not. And this is shaded, and these are not. I know it doesn't look like that. I actually think it looks like the opposite on this, but I'm using this model, okay, or this picture from the slides that we looked at in class. All right, so that's why I colored it in by hand just to show you. When I get given a question that has models with no fraction written, the first thing I need to do is write the name of the fraction. This is one shaded out of one, two, three. So this fraction represents one third. This is one, two, three out of six. So A is three sixths. C is one, two, three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just counting twice to make sure I got it right. B represents one out of one, two, three, four, five. D represents one out of four. So which of these fractions is equivalent to one third? Well, A was three sixths. Is that equal to one third? Three times three is nine, six times one is six. Those are not equal. A is not my answer. Now I check B. B is one-fifth. Is one-third equal to one-fifth? Well, I know these unit fractions are not the same. One out of three is not the same as one out of five, but I can always check five is not equal to three. Now I check C. Three-ninths, is that equal to one-third? Three times three is nine. Nine times one is nine. This is equal. So C is my answer. Let's just double check D, one fourth is equal to one third. Three times one is three, four times one is four, not equal, okay? So my answer is C. I'm gonna say it again, it's so important when you get a picture of a fraction, right? These represent a fraction. Um, you must write the name of those fractions next to them. It's so important. All right, same issue on this one. I'm gonna show you this is colored in, this is colored in, this is colored in, these are colored in, and this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of them are colored in, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do this on, on our tests also because the copies are not gonna come out so well. So the shaded part in the model shown below represents a fraction of the whole model. Again, same idea. I have pictures that represent fractions. The first thing I do is I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna write the fraction down. So this one is one, two pieces out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two sixths. Here I've got one out of five pieces, one out of three pieces, two out of four pieces, and this was eight out of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Right? So which fraction is equivalent to two sixths? Same idea, one fifth is equivalent to two sixths. I'm checking. Six times one is six, five times two is 10. Not equivalent. A is not my answer. B is one third equal to two sixths. Six times one is six, three times two is six. Yes, it is. Awesome, that's my answer, but I'm just gonna double check number for, for C. Two fourths, is that equal to two sixths? 
No, it's not, but I'll double check. Nope, 12 and 8 are not equal. And then 8 twelfths, is that equal to 2 6? 6 times 8 is 48. 12 times 2 is 24. Not equivalent. My answer is B. Again, when you get to pictures of fractions, write the fraction names, even if you think you don't have to. It's so helpful. It's so important.